Howdy folks, and welcome to the Iron Horse. In this episode we are going to talk about California's newest commuter rail operation, Metrolink's Aero Service between San Bernardino and Redlands. The route runs 9 miles between downtown San Bernardino Station and the University of Redlands Station, with stops in Tippecanoe Station, S3 Station, and Redlands Downtown Station. The train sets used on this service are known as FLIRTs, built by a Swiss company called Stadler. FLIRT stands for Fast Light Intercity Regional Train, which this train definitely is. Currently, Metrolink operates three of these units powered by diesel. However, next year they will receive their first hydrogen powered train, which looks almost identical to this one and will be the first hydrogen-powered train ever in the United States. As you can see, these trains are very sleek, very European, and very modern. And as an advocate for better, more modern passenger rail in the U.S., I must say, this truly is an upgrade. And I love this train. I enjoyed riding it, and I enjoyed all the modern amenities that it offered, and it was very comfortable. And it really is like being in Europe, even though I am in California. And while this may be very common in Europe, it truly does add diversity to the locomotive-dominated passenger and freight trains of the United States. Currently, the only other commuter railroads in the U.S. that are using these types of trains are a couple out in Texas. Similar commuter rail services, although they use different types of equipment than this, also exist here in Southern California as well as Northern California. Such as the Smart Train up in the Sonoma Marin area, which I did an episode on a few months ago, and uses Japanese Nippon Shario equipment. And San Diego County Sprinter which uses Siemens-built DeZero equipment between Oceanside and Escondido. Let's take a ride on the Arrow from San Bernardino downtown to Redlands University and back before catching my train to Los Angeles. Got some nice interiors on this train. It's definitely is very modern, very sleek, and definitely something out of Europe. Yeah, I can't wait to ride this. And here we go. So this is my first time riding on a Stadler Flirt uh, type commuter train and my first time riding the Arrow as well and I must say so far it's a very smooth train ride. Definitely an upgrade to a lot of other trains I've ridden. You just don't get a lot of these European style trains here in the US. I mean they're starting to come up slowly as evidenced here, but they're just not as common as you may think. Fun fact, the Aero train actually runs on former Atchison Topeka Santa Fe trackage and to this day there are still some signs of freight trains that travel along this route. But I think they travel mainly at night because as during the day is when the commuter trains operate. Station stops are brief. Redlands University Station is our final stop. No one likes the litter bug, so please remember to throw away all your unwanted trash before leaving the train.
I decided to get off at downtown Redlands on the way back to do some rail fanning of the Arrow as well as check out the old Santa Fe Depot that sits here. After doing some research, I found out that that other platform that the Arrow doesn't use is used by an express train to Los Angeles, which uses traditional Metrolink equipment. Downtown Redlands has been redeveloped over the past few years and is definitely looking nice. But let's take a look at the Santa Fe Depot now. For a depot that was not in use for a long time and was built in 1910, it really has stood the test of time. I mean, just look at this gorgeous architecture of this old building. I even hear and actually saw a sign that says it's for lease and there are plans to put a restaurant inside. From 1938 to 2022, Redlands had no passenger train service and the depot was dormant. However, things have since changed and once again, Although the depot isn't directly part of the aero service, it still is right by the modern train station. As I mentioned, the depot is for lease, so there's a good chance that there will be a restaurant put in here, possibly by next year from what I read. Passenger trains of the Santa Fe Railroad once served this depot as did the Pacific Electric Red Car system of the greater Los Angeles area. Let's get a couple of passing aero trains in action before I get back on board to head back to San Bernardino. Now back to San Bernardino. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this look at California's newest commuter train. 
definitely a fine service if you ask me. Now I am back on a normal Metrolink train headed from San Bernardino to Los Angeles. As this video ends, watch and enjoy this scene of the freight yard as I pull out of San Bernardino. I am Iron Horse Fan, I will see you down the line. May your lights be green on the high iron, and thanks for watching. Please keep aisles clear of personal items. If you see a suspicious package on board the train,